Hey guys, Mrs. O'Donnell here. Um, last part, last question that I got on this assignment is about compare rates, linear representation. So let's check it out. So if you are logging on to this, this is a really cool question. You're looking at different representations, okay? And it says, which relationship below represents a function with a lesser rate of change than this function, y equals 3x plus 4? All right, so what they're asking you to do here is find your slope or your rate of change for each function and then, and then really identify which one is less than three, right? Because we know in y equals mx plus b, which is slope-intercept form, the slope is that three or that coefficient on our x. All right, so let's check it out here. Let's look for a slope. So from A, we're gonna do our rise over our run, or we're gonna make those little slope triangles, rise over run. So it looks like our slope is going to be three over one, which is equal to a slope of three, right? So it's not a lesser rate, it's an equivalent rate. All right, we could do D really quick as well. Um, so we're gonna do, again, we're gonna do rise, over run. So it looks like I'm going up one, two, three, four, five, six. My rise is six. My run is one. So six is actually a greater rate of change than three. So we're not going to use either of those. All right. So now we want to go and take a look at our tables. Okay. So to find our rate of change in our tables, we have to do our first differences. Okay. So 14 minus 10 is 4, 10 minus 6 is 4, 6 minus 2 is 4, 30 minus 22 is 8, 22 minus 14 is 8, 14 minus 6 is 8. Okay, so we know it's linear, um, and we know 8 divided by 4 equals uh, 2. And we actually can see 2 is a lesser rate than 3. So I'm going to say B is probably our answer, but let's double check C just to be certain, right? So we're going to do our uh, carrots and do our first differences. So 0 minus a negative 2 is 2. Negative 2 minus a negative 4 is 2. Negative 4 minus a negative 6 is 2. Or I can also think, hey, I'm going up by 2 each time, right? 1 minus a negative 9 is 8. No. Nope is 11. <laughs> Don't let me tell you that's 8. That's not 8. Uh, that's 11. And then let's see here. Negative 9 minus negative uh, 19 is... Okay, let's see here. I don't know what is going on with my subtraction. Those negatives are really throwing me off. Don't let those negatives throw you off, right? So let's see here. This is actually 10. 1 minus a negative 9 is 10. Negative 9 minus negative 19 is 10. Negative 19 a minus a negative 29 is 10. Okay, and then... Sorry about that. 10 divided by uh, 2, oh my gosh, is 5. So our slope for C is 5, and we know 5 is actually a greater slope than 3. So we were right when we said, hey, the answer to this is going to be B. We could go ahead and plug that in. Let's see what Delta Math says. Submit. Yes. Submit it. And hey, that worked. Okay, I liked it. <laughs> there you go. All right, you could try some different problems. Okay, some, let's see here, this is all of my stuff from the last problem, right? So now they're going to give you different, uh, different ways you have to interpret the slope, right? So instead of giving you an equation, now they're giving it to you as a graph, okay? Um, which relationship represents a function with the same slope as this graph? So now you're looking for um, a table graph or table or equation that's going to also have a slope of... Uh, down 5 over 1, so of negative 5, right? Um, and we can see quickly from the equations that they don't have a slope of negative 5, so then you want to hop over to your tables.